Good day, everyone. <clears throat> Today I'm going to present you a project that I first uh, made a video with a modified circuit. It's, um, I guess we could say it's an H-bridge inverter, and it's self-oscillating. And I reverted to the original schematic, which was one resistor across the two uh, bays here of both transistor and two capacitors that actually are in series with the base and then in parallel to each other and uh, there's a transformer or whatever the output you want and I add a little bit of modification I put some diode for protection and I added, <clears throat> I added a little uh, 100 uh, nanofarad capacitor there for stability I still need to experiment with that capacitor because uh, sometimes it does something and the other time it, eh, it doesn't do very really much and my um, the reason why I actually build this is as you can see the power supply is 5 volt and I wanted to be able to drive a various type of LED light bulb like this this one which I actually have the best result and then I have various ones some do-it-yourself from IC station great little product and um, some some that has a constant current built it inside and I did try some fluorescent and uh, no it doesn't really work so far so I would ha I would have to experiment more and the reason why I reverted to the original schematic is uh, this one actually works very well better than my modification and also when it has no load it's actually very low on the current draw so right now I have my handy dandy power supply at 5 volt, I have my scope, and I also have a, um, a multimeter hooked up to the output, and I'm going to go ahead and power this thing on, and the no load current is about, well, 80 milliamps, which is 400 milliwatts, and I have 89 volt at the output, and it's a nice square wave at uh, roughly 70 hertz. Ish, plus give or take because it, it will vary de uh, uh, according to the low, the input voltage and all the those good uh, modification you can do and in my case I added a little uh, neon light bulb to tell me that I actually have output so right now my socket is empty and uh, we'll go on ahead and hook up this LED if I can twist it in there without electrocuting myself there we go, we got lights. Voltage dropped to about 85 volt. Uh, the power went, well, doubled about. So 400 uh, milliwatt. And this gives us about 150, maybe 160 milliamps. And still kind of square wave. It changed a little bit here, but I highly doubt that it's, uh, that's pr probably just because of the circuitry inside the LED itself and you can see it works perfectly and I'm quite happy about that that means I can actually power this light bulb uh, via USB without damaging the USB uh, in, in like the, the actual USB and the interesting thing is I can actually increase the voltage to about 6 volt There we go. Now I have a hundred volt, eh, kind of the same uh, waveform, but a lot more light power, light output. And of course, well, you can hook up. Things are falling here. You can hook up any um, any any LED light bulb that you may want. Let's uh, voltage jump to 107, and I'm going to hook up this one. And it actually used less power than uh, the big one here. So, and a higher voltage because this one originally was rated for um, uh, 230 volts. So, a thing that happened here is I'm only running it to 107 volts. And if I can get it to go in there, there we go. So, it is turned on. And 
that's still very usable light. It's not blinding as it should be, but uh, close enough. 105 volt, similar waveform, and the milliamp is our 145. So you can actually see that it's consuming way less power. And this one, I can actually increase it to higher. And let's go on ahead here and uh, put 125 volt, which roughly is about the main power. So 125 volt, this is actually blinding bright. And we are at 7.3 volt. 200, uh, maybe 225, 250 milliamps. So roughly 2 watt of power. And transistor remains very cool. Transformer, I would have to let it run for uh, quite some time to see um, if it actually warms up. And as you can notice, there's actually some pretty big resistor in there. Those are my, are, are my uh, two 680 ohms resistor. Uh, I just got those from scrap and the yes they are a little bit overkill for it but uh, if you put anything s smaller like in, in wattage uh, you will actually notice that the, uh, the resistor will get warm and they are actually warm just a bit so um, here's my little circuit working very very well I'm quite happy about that and we'll have to do more experiment with uh, directly 5 volts, see if I can improve it, either lowering the frequency or hiring it up, changing the transformer. And uh, here is the uh, light. It's uh, very, very dim. I'm assuming, like in complete darkness, it'll actually provide some light. But uh, might go for with this one at 5 volt. I don't know, maybe solder it on top here. Well, we'll see. There's uh, actually lots of room for improvement and there's no socket right now on this and I'll actually do some testing if uh, you can plug like a little, little AC radio or something like that to see if there's any uh, if it works or if it, if it doesn't work of course the frequency will be a little off so you won't you shouldn't plug anything that requires a constant frequency but uh, for light it works and uh, I'm happy about it Alright, thanks for watching.